Hi everybody. Welcome back to story time. I hope you've had a fun, fun Saturday. And I hope you are having a great, great day. If it's not Saturday. I got a new book in the mail about a week ago or so. So I have been saving this for this weekend so that I could read to you. I know you enjoy Pudgy Possum the Brave. Do you know what brave means? Are you brave? I bet you are. We're all brave. Whether it's when we get a shot or when we have to stand in front of our class and say something or we have to do something for the first time. And there's many other times and ways that we can all be brave. So we're always brave, aren't we? Well, before we get started, I want us to say our names to everybody. So that way we can all be friends. So when I say, what number should I say today? Should I say three? I'll say three. When I say three, I want you to tell me your name, and that way we can all be friends. You ready? One, two, three. Claudia, I'm so glad that you're my friend, and I'm so glad that we're all friends here at Storytime. And before we read our new book, I want us to say our little poem that we always say don't we gather your children gather your blankets your bears and your possums too and let's all settle down because i have a story to read to you so i'm going to be brave and read this new book to all of you and to me and I know we're going to enjoy it because we're never found a boring book yet have we and Miss Kathy even signed the book and she wrote Pudgy and I hope you enjoy his story and then Miss Kathy signed it I know we're going to enjoy this. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Kathy, for sending us this wonderful, sweet book. And thank you, Pudgy, as well. Have you ever seen a possum? I bet you have. Where I live in the South, we have lots of possums. And you can always see them at zoos and on farms and you can see them anywhere and if you enjoy this book and i know you will you can order miss kathy's book from amazon so let's see what adventures pudgy is going to take us on quit breathing in my ear your foot is in my face there's somebody breathing move your tail off my belly my possum's pouch had been warm and cozy now that the babies are getting bigger it was getting cramped and crowded Everyone was getting crowded. I mean, cranky. Sorry. A possum has a pouch, and a pouch is like a little pocket where all the babies live. Kangaroos have pouches, too. Did you know that? Can't somebody do something? One sister asked. One of us could leave to make room for the rest, a brother spoke up. Everyone got nervous. They were afraid to leave home just yet. I'll go, offered the smallest of the baby possums. 
You can't go. You're too little, his sister responded. I may be little, but I'm brave, was his response, was his reply. I'm ready for an adventure. What do you think, his sister asked the others. Should we let him go? But she was too late. Her brother was already gone. Do you have a brother? Do you have a sister? Do you have more than one brother or one sister? I have a friend who has many, many brothers and sisters. And I'll tell you how many she has at the end of the book. Once out of the pouch, the little possum found himself on the hard ground. To his surprise, he started to sneeze. <gasps> Achoo! Achoo! Nearby, he heard a clicking noise. It sounded comforting, so he moved towards it. Can you click your tongue on your back of your teeth? I bet you can. Let's do it together. That's what the mama possum does to call her babies. There you are, someone said. I thought I heard some sneezing. It was his mother. She had been making the clicking noise. The youngster was glad to see her. You're out of my pouch early. Mom command, Ma said, I volunteered. It was getting too crowded, and I was bored. The small possum responded, Well, that was kind of you and brave. Look it, look like, looks like you could stand to gain some weight. Stay with me, we'll get you fattened up. Let's spell brave together, you ready? Because we didn't do it earlier. B R A V E. Brave. Do you see the purple flowers and the rock? So the bold little possum had his mother's undivided attention. She taught him how to catch small frogs at the pond. Do you see the ladybug? In the garden, they dug out worms. Have you ever played with worms? Even I've played with worms. Ma showed him how to sneak up on bugs in tall grass. Do you remember what kind of animal this is? Is it a frog or a grasshopper? It's a grasshopper, isn't it? Do you see the ladybug? They checked the trash can by the farmhouse. Once they found a pear. A pear must be the best thing in the whole wide world to eat, said the small fry. He was sure his siblings would agree once they joined him. After some time passed, the other babies finally ventured out of Ma's pouch. They sneezed just like their brother did. Ha! 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 Once again, Ma clicked into her baby's founder. Can you do that again? They were so excited to meet Ma that they started to climb all over her. Have you seen our little brother? One of the sisters asked. He left early to give us more room. I always thought it was a brave thing for him to do. Surprise! shouted a large young possum, jumping out from behind Ma. Who are you? the startled sister asked. It's me, your little brother. He's not little anymore, is he? Look at him and look at her. No way, one of the brothers explained in 
surprised. You're bigger than any of us. Well, he responded, I've, a gr I've had a great time having Ma all to myself, and I've had lots and lots to eat. I say you have, his sister piped up, feeling a bit jealous. You're even a little pudgy. That's me, Pudgy Possum the Brave. Come on, let's look for bugs. Do you see the ladybug? And that is the end of our story. But I'm going to share some fun facts with you. Do you know that a mama possum can care for 13 babies in her pouch? And her pouch closes so tight that she can even go swimming and her babies won't get wet. You can find out more information about possums just by going to the a possum society dot I'm sorry, a possum society US dot org. And this is Miss Kathy's second book. Her first book was Pudgy Possum and the Porcupine. Maybe Miss Kathy will send us that one too. She lives in Ohio. I want to thank Miss Kathy for sending me this book to share with you and I want to thank you all for coming and being here with me today at story time and I'm so glad you did would you like to see the furry animal that you've seen right there that's my new friend and my friend who sells wax sent it to me isn't she cute for Christmas? And look, she even has a friend that she sleeps with in her pocket. She has a gingerbread friend right there. And then, when it's not Christmas time anymore, I can take her little dress off and get another little dress or shirt to put on her. Isn't that neat? If you like her, you can order one. From that company right there. What should I name her? Should I name her Ginger? Because she's got on a gingerbread outfit. Or should I name her something else? You can help me name her if you want to. All you got to do is leave me your suggestion. On my Facebook page. Under my name. Okay? And... Remember, this week I want you all to be brave because it won't be long before it's Thanksgiving time and we'll be reading, um, after Thanksgiving we'll be reading our Christmas books. So, I want to thank you again for coming and spending time with me today and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed spending time with you and I can't wait to read our next book together. Can you? Goodbye, everybody.